Hey there, everybody. It's Daikaiju Tony here. Today, I am going to talk about a show that is near and dear to your heart. Not necessarily. Is I had your I, favorite shows of all time. I, I I had my expectations to it, and as someone who, you know, loved the Teen Titans cartoon, and I, admittedly, I like a bit of Teen Titans Go for all the DC fan service, and you know, having writers like Marv Wolfman and George Perez voicing it. But this this right here, oh my. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for, wow. Okay. For a little backstory, um, before HBO Max, D- DC kickstarted their own stream service called DC Universe, where oh, yeah. they had a rousing success. They had, their first exclusive show would be Titans. Was it really? Yeah, it oh. was Titans. <sighs> uh, <laughs> Titans. The trailer came out. So you loved it. I remember the dislike like ratio being like a Call of Duty trailer where people were laughing at it in the comments and oh my god, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Wow. Um I wait till past the five minute mark to like quote what Robin said in the trailer. Um <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty that's actually turned me off to it. I'm like, I have no desire to see this. Okay. So yeah, let's get into it. Starting it's like you're with a poor kid that literally owes everything you have to Batman. <laughs> season one of Titans. So how this will go is I'll go over each character and I'll go over what I liked and what I didn't like. Uh, season one, Robin. Dick Grayson as Robin. Was it Dick Grayson's Robin? Yes, I actually like the guy playing Dick Grayson as Robin, and I do like the story arc he has in season one. Basically, he's living in Detroit. He's trying to move away from being Batman trying to do his own thing since he was basically disagreeing with the methods Batman was doing against criminals. Um, Wow. It's not until he encounters, well, first he tries being Robin again by stopping a bunch of drug dealers in the alleyway, and first the drug dealers think that Batman's there. It's like, oh, it's just Robin, which kind of pisses him off a bit, and (laughs) he just brutalizes all of them. The fight scenes are pretty good. It's just that one-line dialogue that he says. Yes, because ap- victimizing bad guys is really a Dick Grayson thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, if you want to talk about thugs being victimized, you're not, <laughs> you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta wait till what happens later. Um, but eventually, he encounters Rachel, who is Raven. And basically, this whole season is about... Dick Grayson trying to figure out why Raven is being chased after by oh, a cult, basically. Nice. And at the same time, oh, Starfire is cool. there. I think she in the she wakes up in Germany in the beginning. And okay, first of all, I do not <laughs> like Starfire's design, and I no no offense to the actress. I think the actress yeah. did a fine job playing Starfire, especially in season two and season three. Really. But wow, you really went into the, the rabbit hole with this, huh? You didn't just watch a couple episodes. I saw the whole like, thing. You watched the whole thing? What? Yes. I th- so I think... St- would you do that to yourself? Um, I, yeah. No, I th- I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue. Her character design <laughs> for season one, it sucks. And yes, there is a whole rabbit hole be- behind season one's production and what was supposed to happen. Uh, her story arc is basically, she has no memory. She has amnesia, of course. Um, she doesn't find out why she's really there. It turns out she was sent to Earth to basically kill Rachel because she is a dangerous child because Rachel is, you know, the daughter of Trigon. And, man, Trigon in the show. She's just a guy. She's just a guy. She's just okay. a guy in a trench coat. Okay, so who else is in the show? Hawk and Dove. I actually like these characters. They're not 100% true to what Hawk and Dove is in the comics where they have actual superpowers. I like their costumes because, well, I like all their suits. Well, except for Starfire. <laughs> I like every costume in the show aside Starfire's because the same costume designers were from the ones that did the costumes in The Boys and Stargirl. So uh, kudos to them. Her new costume or, or the, the first season costume? First season costume show. sucked. Okay. Yeah. I like. Oh, where she was just wearing weird clothes? Yeah. Okay. Her other, or the costume she actually gets later looks pretty decent. But Hawk and Dove, I like their story. Like, they're just a couple living in an apartment, and they occasionally fight crime. Hawks, uh, they're actually both of their tra- both of their backstories are pretty tragic. Hawk is a little screwed up. It involves a gym coach that was a little too into kids. Oh, yeah, whoa. yeah. It, go- it goes into that territory, which explains why Hawk, you know, hates those kinds of people. Uh, who else is in the show? Oh yeah, Beast Boy. Beast Boy is the 
I don't want to say comedic relief, but he is a pretty prominent character within the season, and Dick Grayson basically on his, I want to say, yeah, it's, a, it's basically a road trip because he's traveling around the country with a Robin suit, <laughs> uh, basically gathering together the Titans, and he says it himself as a temporarily neutral team, and Beast Boy is there because he likes Raven, and... He lives at Doom Manor, which I really appreciated that they introduced the Doom Patrol oh, in this show. They're in there. Yes, right. yeah, the Doom Patrol is in this show, except for wow. J- except for Crazy Jane and Niles is not played by Timothy Dalton, which bugs the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and who else? Oh yeah, Donna Troy. She's in the show, but she doesn't get a lot of screen time. She's just like barely introduced, and she's like in two episodes, so it barely happens. A character that I did not expect to see was Jason Todd. I like the kid who plays Jason Todd. He is way more aggressive, angsty. That's Jason, yeah. Um, is he it, Red Hood in this already? Or? Not yet. Oh, man, don't, I'll get into that soon. Yeah, Jason Todd, He, if you thought Dick Grayson was brutal in Titans, Jason Todd, he's just a flat-out prick to both cops and criminals. So this is this, – oh, sorry, I, do, I missed this part of it. This Robin is, is not Tim Drake. No, Tim Drake it's, does not show up until season Grayson. three. It's, it's okay. yeah. Tim Drake's in it though. I yeah. don't get it. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. This is like classic Teen Titans when Robin became Nightwing. I right. Think. Okay. Now. Okay. On to okay. Night. Okay. Well, what was supposed to be Nightwing? So season one ends with named after a Kryptonian bird, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Season one ends with Robin getting his suit destroyed after they escape an asylum. Um, meet Trigon. They get put into like nightmare states. Like, kind of like Nightmare on Elm Street, kind of. And it ends <laughs> on a cliffhanger. What was supposed to happen originally is Dick Grayson finally becomes Nightwing, Starfire gets her costume, the Doom Patrol helps out Titans, and they just team up to beat Trigon, which would, you know, eventually lead to... a guy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not, until, not until season two. Season two is a CGI monstrosity. But okay. it would lead huh. into what would become the Doom Patrol show, but because of the negative reception of season one's uh, reveal... It was a better decision to have Doom Patrol be separate on its own universe than to be a part of Titans, which I applaud them for that. However, it did mess with the narrative of what Season 1 was trying to go for, and for that, I give Season 1 a 6 out of 10. Ooh. Now on to wow. Season 2. This will be more brief. Season 2 sucks, okay? <laughs> it, it just sucks. That's pretty brief. 1 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> Thing, things I liked in it. Superboy and Crypto. They're introduced. They're pretty cool. That's about it. Um, what? Yeah. Okay. Deathstroke. Ah. Uh, like G.I. Joe, Destro? <laughs> no, Dest- Slade Wilson. Oh. Uh, Slade Wilson. Deathstroke. Deathstroke, got it. How do I say this without being too... Okay, actually, no, I'll, I'll go full... 90% of all the action sequences or the most interesting parts of season two happen in flashbacks. <laughs> Aqualad, Aqualad's in the show, and he dies in a, in a flashback. Wow. Yeah, so Aqualad was dating Donna Troy, and when he was going to, you know, go back to Atlantis and, you know, in, in, in the airport, he gets shot to death by Deathstroke. Um, Deathstroke never worked for me as a Titan villain. No? no. He's a little too He's a little, he's too, a little much. too much, yeah. yeah. Deathstroke. Um, a little too overkill. He's a great character. I he, like, he, I like he hates the Titans because um, his son Jericho was killed in a fight, and Jericho's in there um, in flashbacks. But it turns out Jericho was like, all this time, Jericho, a chunk of his conscience, or his entire conscience, was living in Deathstroke's head as a, <laughs> as a prisoner. And he's like, what you're doing is wrong, father. It, it's that kind of dynamic. Ravenger is introduced. Um, and she is forgotten in season three as if she never happened. Uh, <laughs> the show. Jason Todd gets with her for like an episode. <laughs> Dick Grayson doesn't get a new suit because, as, okay, so if you remember what I told you, season one, it was supposed to end with Dick Grayson becoming Nightwing. Yeah. This season, Dick Grayson is Dick Grayson throughout the whole season. Doesn't wear any costumes or do any superheroing, not until the last episode where he finally becomes Nightwing. Admittedly, the Nightwing suit lo- looks cool, but the fight choreography between him and Deathstroke is so painful to look at. There's so many cuts, it's like looking at a Paul W. S. Anderson movie. <laughs> um, my, my, it looks like my. Okay, the, so the quick cuts hide the 
ability or lack of ability of the actors okay, so is, what is what it does. Nightwing jumps atop of a car, Deathstroke's or, over here. It looks like Nightwing teleported right in front of him while fighting. Yeah. Okay, so um, Rav- Rav- Jericho goes inside Ravager, kill Dest- kills Deathstroke, John Troy dies. Um, the end. Uh, Raven, go- <laughs> the end. Raven goes to Themyscira to meditate and... Sure. Yeah, now we've gone to season three, which probably insulted me the most. Wow. Um, <laughs> Blackfire's introduced because... Actually, no, she was introduced into, as a little teaser for season two as, like, the next villain. Turns out she's more of a victim because her and Starfire have a psychic connection. Starfire frees her because she, deep down she's still her sister, and even though, you know, she killed the, their parents. And there's a whole, like, subplot about how originally... Blackfire was supposed to have powers, but instead it was Starfire. And there's a war in Tamran right now. Uh, Blackfire gets with, J- with uh, not Jason, <laughs> gets with Superboy, and Superboy does some shellfish decisions just to keep Blackfire with him. But they eventually split by the end of the season anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now on to, oh man, Jason Todd in season three of Titans. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, first off, Ian Glenn is Bruce Wayne, which happens. Ian Glenn as Bruce Wayne. I don't... I, he, England. Huh? What? Ian Glenn. Um, he's in oh, Game of Thrones. Gl- okay. Yeah, he's in Game of Thrones. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> yes, he, uh, he's not Bruce Wayne. I, I look at him, I don't see a Batman in him. Jason Todd, beginning of Titan Season 3, dies. And then... He was the bad guy in Resident Evil. <laughs> yes. He dies, and within less than a week, he becomes Red Hood. <laughs> and turns out Red Hood was a creation of Scarecrow because what? they yeah okay so they had yeah. they had the Joker kill Jason Todd but they didn't really have a guy playing him or any major actor so they just hide his face while the crowbar scene was happening I'm like oh dear God no <laughs> yeah. yes uh, Jason Todd is there um, as Red Hood with his angsty teenage voice still without. Well, actually, no, he has a voice changer, but whenever he... I'm the Red Hood! Yeah, she's like, she's like, this is my destiny, dick. <laughs> yeah. Dick. How many know it's his destiny? He was just mad. Yeah, he's... But, but yeah, it's like Batman Arkham Knight. Red Hood is a henchman of Scarecrow. Yeah, what, that's... What? What? And Scarecrow's big grand plan is to infect Gotham's water supply with fear toxin and... Jensen uh, Ackles was still the best Red Hood. Bomb chunks of Gotham and take over Gotham and take over the Batcave with Red Hood and I kid you not the moment where Jason realizes that Crane is cuckoo and he's not on the right and he's not a pretty good mentor. Jason realizes this. Yes. Let that sink in for a minute. (laughs) Yes, the moment that happened Scarecrow scares Jason off the Batcave and out of Wayne Manor by chasing him with a sickle and a chain and I'm like Really? Uh, Jason Todd, the, the one with a, holding a gun right now, doesn't... I am so glad I didn't watch ...kill Scarecrow. This. Oh, yeah, and the guy who plays Scarecrow, he doesn't even wear a Scarecrow mask. Like, you see one in the background, but he decides to, like, cut his face apart. Like, what is, whatever. What is this fascination with modern DC to just hack or hack cut their faces, faces off? off. Yeah. Like, whatever. That's gory, I guess. And, I and there's so many outdated references in there, like, Jason Todd says, all your base belongs to us. But, yeah, what? this, this what? is basically... They're trying to be cool, but it's already 10 years This past. is basically... Oh, yeah, this, is, this is 60-year-old. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know what I've heard? I've heard that there's a thing called memes. So, yeah. Memes. Memes, the kids call them. Yes. To, to put it... Oh, yeah, and also Barbara Gordon's in the show. I think she's pretty good as Oracle and yeah. commissioner of, of the PlayStation. Is it Dina Meyer? Because if it's not, I nah. just... Who cares? And who cares? There's, Still and the best There's also Tim Drake, who <laughs> doesn't become Robin, but whatever. But anyway, big thing is, this show bastardized one of my favorite DC characters ever. One of them? Only one? <laughs> <laughs> well, surprisingly <laughs> enough. Well, I could, I could handle some of the more creative changes put towards Dick Grayson, but Jason Todd, oh my God. I was so insulted while watching it, so... Season two, I give like two out of ten or two out of five, whatever. This one, I give like a decimal out of whatever. Wow. So yeah, Titan Half a se- star. Titan season three. Do not watch at all unless you want to like melt your eyes and yeah. Wow. Taikaiji Tony signing out.